This video will demonstrate some of the basic functions of the Navigator in Sierra 3.1. The uh, Navigator is the new way in which you can switch between tests when you're using the Sierra Summit. When you first start a patient and enter the patient information, the first screen you'll see after you begin your study is this Navigator. You'll typically see it with at least two tabs, maybe more, depending on if this was an upgrade or a new installation. Um, I'll start with two tabs and then show how to add additional tabs as needed. The first two tabs shown here are studies and all tests. Um, studies is where you're going to see the studies that you have set up in your settings. Um, a study is just a group of tests uh, designed to improve workflow. In the bottom of the studies, you have a study list editor, and this is where you can easily get to the um, study list editor and add studies or edit studies, and that can be shown in another video. When you click, double click on a study, that will launch that study and add all these tests into your study window in the Sierra Summit. Double clicking on a specific nerve within the study will do the same thing, but start you on that nerve or muscle or test. The All Tests tab, you can see all the tests that you have available to you in the Sierra Summit. When you click on that test, you can see all the different muscles or nerves or options within that test to select from. You can always click common and see what muscles are set up as common or nerves are set up as common in that particular test. This can be set up as a default as well. And you can also just, in the filter box, start typing and that will bring the list down to whatever letters you start typing. To, to launch a test from the All Tests menu, just pick, pick the test, for example, EMG Plus, and then double click the muscle. In the cogwheel, you can pick additional tabs to be shown, as well as settings within those tabs and the order, order of those tabs. So I'm going to add muscles tabs and nerves tabs and ultrasound tab to my navigator. If I want to adjust the order of these tabs, I can just click and drag and put them in the order that I want them to show up. Hitting OK, and now I see the tabs that I've selected here as options. I can run the navigator strictly with the knobs on the base unit, or I can use my mouse. You'll notice the yellow box around this first window. That is the yellow knob, so turning the yellow knob will, will run through these options here in the, in the uh, yellow window. Turning the pink knob will allow me to select a nerve or muscle within that test. And then the blue knob, turning the blue knob actually picks a different tab. So you can go through your different tabs with the blue knob, or you can use your mouse. So I can go into, so now since I've added a muscles and a nerves and an ultrasound tab, I can pick that tab. In muscles tab, I have a, an anatomical filter to quickly filter through my muscles. This is only available if you're use, using the anatomy database in EMG Plus or um, single fiber EMG Plus. And so from here, I can easily just click this right hand that immediately filters all the muscles sets my side to right and just shows me the muscles that I've set up in the right hand. Checking the common box will filter those down to, to, down to just the muscles that you commonly use, and those are set up in the test setup. Obviously, you can also use the filter and just type in, start typing in any muscle you want to find. Double clicking on a muscle will launch into that muscle. If you click on more than one muscle and then hit OK, it will add all three of those muscles into your study window and begin the test. For single fiber EMG, you'll just select single fiber EMG and then pick the muscles that you want to do. To deselect a muscle, you can just actually always click in, the, in this white area in the anatomical figure that will deselect everything. And you can reselect a different, different body part. And then you can reselect a muscle. You can click common to see just common muscles used in that area. And then again, double clicking a muscle will launch into that muscle or selecting more than one muscle and hitting OK will launch into that muscle. The F keys can also be used and set up in however way you'd like. And those are the F keys on your base unit. So in this case, I have my F keys set up to jump to the different tabs. So I can hit F1 and that takes me to the studies tab on the base unit. F2 on the base unit takes me to the all tests tab, etc. These F keys are set up in the cogwheel in the navigator.
So the nerves tab is similar to the muscles tab. And actually, while we're in the muscles, I'll show you a few more things. In the muscles tab, you also have filter options. So currently, we're seeing the graphic filter. We can look at innervation. So we can now filter by divisions or chords um, or roots. So I can look at like all my um, C5 muscles, for example. Uh, you can filter by text, which is just, just like graphics rather than graphics. You just filter by it by anatomical area. Or you can just hide your filter and just simplify it to just the uh, muscle selection. In the nerves tab, uh, similar functionality to the muscles tab. However, in this case, um, we have NCS Plus as our only test currently, and we are going to pick an anatomical uh, region, which filters down our nerves list, and then we can filter by nerve, and then we can see all the nerves, all the uh, nerves related to that are all the tests related to that nerve in that anatomical region. You don't have to use the anatomical um, feature. You can leave that blank and just filter by nerve. We're clicking outside here. Now we have no filter set, so we can see all of our different tests. So all these first boxes are ways to quickly filter through our test list. Um, so if we know we're going to work, be working on the median nerve, we can just jump right to the median nerve, see all the median tests. I like choosing the um, the, the anatomical region because it's an easy way to also choose the side. So here we have a front facing figure and a rear facing figure. So I'm going to click the right side, median nerve, and I'm just going to start with the median motor and double clicking this will launch into the median motor. If I know I want to do a median motor, F wave, and sensory, now I can just hit OK and those three nerves will be put into my study window. I'll go ahead and launch into that. So there's the three nerves that I selected in the study window. I can go ahead and test those nerves. And then to get back into the navigator, you just push F7 on your base unit, is always navigator, or you can click the compass rows, or you can have it set up as a, as a tab, a hidden tab on the side of your screen. So I'm going to go back to the compass here. It brings me back into the navigator. I can now add additional nerves to this test. I can refilter, or perhaps go into ultrasound and pick an ultrasound. In ultrasound, I can pick the type, whether it's ultrasound or ultrasound concurrent, and then again, either pick multiple or double click on one to add those particular um, sites into my study list here. Um, so the navigator is very nice to just jump back and forth between um, different types of tests. When you're in a test, um, once the tests are in your study window, then you just have to click through the different tests, either using the next key on your base unit or using the um, next button if you have that set up on your stim troller. And again, F7 will take you right back into the navigator at any time. Um, you can pick a different type of test. So here, if I want to go to EMG, I can go to muscles, um, filter, check or uncheck common, and double click on the muscle I want. <clears throat> if I double click on an anatomical region, that will actually drop all of the muscles that are set up as common in that region right into my study window. So if I know that I want to test all the common muscles in the left hand, I can just double click on the left hand and you'll see that dropped in all three common muscles into my study window. Now I'm ready to start testing. F7 takes me back to the navigator. Um, I'm going to go back into the cogwheel, show you a few more options here. So in the cogwheel here, if we go into each um, tab, we can first we can actually relabel what the tabs are called. So if you want to call this the EMG tab instead of muscles tab, you can just type in there EMG, and that's what will show up as the tab title. Um, you can choose the window state, whether you want the uh, navigator floating or a tabbed hidden window on the right side of the screen, um, and you can choose font size for the navigator. In each tab, you have a cogwheel where you can set up that tab. So depending on what type of tab it is, it will give you some different function. So for example, the studies tab just gives you the ability to set up the F keys. So what the function, what the F keys do on the base unit when you're in that tab. Some of the other tabs like um, muscles or nerves tab gives you a few more options. You can set up the F keys. You can decide what type of graphics you want, decide whether you want to only show the common nerves. So have the common checkbox automatically checked and whether you want to see these filter options in the navigator itself. So there's there's quite a bit you can do with it. Um, I'll go ahead and turn on the other navigator tab options so you can see all of the ones that we have available. So when everything's checked in the cogwheel, we have 
um, studies, all tests, EMG, nerves, ultrasound, blink, rep stim, EPs, so you pick the EP type and you can see the different tests in here, and then autom autonomic testing. Um, so you can use as few tabs as or, or as many as you want that work the best for your workflow. And that is a, a brief description of the test navigator in Sierra Summit version 3.1.